Experience tranquility. And welcome everyone. We are here with the Overwatch Tranquility Community Skills Challenge wrapping up Season 2 uh, with a little bit of fun here. And we're coming right into a Widow Headshots only game. A little bit of a precursor to the match. Uh, I'm Ski Free Yeti and I'm joined here with uh, former nemesis, now or still podcast buddy. <laughs> we're oh, friends still. <laughs> I know, I know. With Thuggington. How's it going, buddy? What's up? It's awesome, man. How are you? How's your week? Uh, I can't complain yet. Uh, it's just Monday, so I get to cast That's this right. awesome skills challenge. <laughs> uh, it's going to be fun, dude. I'm excited. It's going to be fun. And right now, we're kind of getting a little bit of a warm-up with some Widow 1v1. Nobody's going to be eliminated after this. It's just to give people some opportunities uh, to play another mode that's kind of ridiculous. And I, I right. fully expect this to be an absolute shit show. Um, but yeah, it's going to sure. be fun getting there. Uh, let's get some actual... Oh, God. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> So right now, uh, we're going to be kind of running down the 12 we have here, guys. We have 12 players from 12 different teams representing uh, all representing uh, teams all over the Tranquility community. Um, go, looking at our list right now, in the top spot, we have Gecko representing Meta Rejects, uh, who's, you know, my, uh, my pick, personally, is Gecko. I don't know what you guys... I'm not biased or anything. <laughs> Just uh, slightly. <laughs> uh, next up, we got Smugs from Otaku. Uh, Smugs, he, he's a pretty well-known guy, wouldn't you say so? I, I think people know who he is the name is pretty pretty common around here it's a, it's a household name you'd say <laughs> he does okay crimson saber just didn't bad things to kitty baka there watch that one. Oh, spooderman with a nice flick too um now going down the list here we're running actually spooderman uh talking about him now he's from solo cup uh team still in the playoffs playing illusion on wednesday it'd be a good match absolutely uh next up is o uh or ooh oh oh, oh. oh. we should have uh, asked him <laughs> he's from uh he's from wrecking crew uh one of the late additions to wrecking crew but definitely made an impact in a short period of time no question about that mm -hmm. um next we're looking at hooks are us a well-known player from the omnic turtles and again yes. speaking of a late pickups probably I, I would argue one of the better players to show up in the mid-season i don't know if you'd agree with for that sure or not. yeah i would think so he's he was fantastic and, mm -hmm. and really got that team going down the stretch and Absolutely. Well, I'm excited to see what they bring next season. Absolutely. I 100% agree with that. Uh, next, we have the very popular and well-known Kitty Baka off tank of Meteors. Everybody loves Ooh, and knows God Kitty. Speed. Ooh, Godspeed with a nice kill on a solitary bird there. Uh, speaking, oh of God's, speaking of Godspeed, he's next on the list here, representing Alta yes. 4. Amen. Good kid. I like him. I'm excited to see. He's he's really mostly excited for the Torb 1v1s. That's the only Shocking. reason he signed up for this. Shocking. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> his jam. I mean, I get it. I can't blame him. It's it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really. But that's why you watch. made it the last one because everybody wants that. <laughs> everybody uh, wants more of one v one. Exactly. Next here is Riley Bad, uh, a Relum Flex player again uh, from Sugar Rush. One of those players that certainly shined early on with that uh, preseason tournament run they had, and now the playoff upset last uh, last week too against Meteors. Yeah, that's exciting to see him and see kind of what he's bringing along with those guys. It's. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's gonna be a good one. I think I would. I mean, with with Guac, I mean, with with Cognitive Pit, obviously made an impact early on. You know, Guac won the Ana Paintball Tournament. Uh, Lays yep, is a member yep. of Ascension and an All Star. Really, the one person of that four that we everybody feared initially was Riley Bad. So it'll be kind of cool yeah. to see what Riley can do here. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. uh, next, coming up here on the list is uh, Crimson Saber from Havoc. Uh, maybe I would maybe say one of the lesser known members of Havoc. Uh, but it's still, I would think so. It's still Havoc though. I mean, what I like about what I like about him, who is he's one of the OGs. Looking at mm -hmm. this this roster, there's what him and Solitary Bird. Yeah, uh, uh, Kitty, Kitty Baka. 
Kitty, Kitty. So yep. there's not a lot from the OGs, so it's no. nice to see a lot of new faces, but yeah. hopefully he uh, represents for the OGs of Tranquility. Absolutely, I would agree with that. Um, coming up next on the list here is uh, Race FPV. Uh, is a flex player from, uh, plays mostly support it seems, uh, but uh, support player we'll just go ahead and say, and that's from uh, Harmony Chaos, number one seed, mm -hmm. number one team. Uh, number one seed, big match coming up for him. Definitely a big impact here. Uh, coming up, taking up the last two spots currently, we have uh, Solitary Bird. We have uh, Off Tank and Main Tank from uh, the Fighting Potatoes, everybody's favorite. We know him, we love him. Yes, we love him. Mm -hmm. And we recently drank with Solitary Bird. We can we can attest that he's... He he's, is, a, he's a great dude. He is a great dude indeed. Watching uh, this, watch this Hooks RS Gecko match was insane. They're about... <laughs> Two meters from each ooh, other. Ooh, I'm watching ooh or oh, ooh. I guess. <laughs> kind of had a little pop-off moment there. That was nice. Ooh. Oh, takes down by hooks, though. Uh, the last on the list, and certainly not last in everybody's hearts, is NPC. Uh, yes. Arguably one of the most uh, popular and well-known members of our community. Uh, yeah. And also apparently one of the most well-known members of the Dallas Fuel fan base. Apparently. Because he's famous. Because he's just, he's, and he'd become internet famous if you watch that oh, home game. Gosh. He was on there a lot. So. Yeah, a lot of zoom ins on him. He's a big, <laughs> handsome man. They, t everything's bigger in Texas. NPC's a big guy, big personality. Mm hmm. Beautiful. It was beautiful. That was a fun home game, by the way. I loved watching that. So, right, right. now, with regards to this match, nobody's going to be eliminated from this, but one person will be receiving a small head start uh, for the next event. And we're going to kind of run down the events a little bit here uh, while we're sitting here chatting. Um, the first event on this list here is the. Uh, well, obviously, the Widow Headshots only, as you're seeing it now. Uh, and then next up, we're going to have a Lucio race, which should be a, a lot of fun, I think. Pure chaos. Mm -hmm. It's going to be In chaos. The best way. It's going to be a lot of fun watching them. Uh, Lucio race on, Co on King's Row, 100%, will be very fun. Uh, next on the list here is our uh, Roadhog hooking. I wanted to call it Hooks R Us, but that name's been kind of bo bogarted by somebody in this game here, so... Uh, I know, right? So hog hooking will basically be uh, hooks only on Ilios Well, and that'll be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to watch that one. We um, did have a few other working uh, working titles for that one, most of which would probably get us demonetized on yep. YouTube. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to avoid it. that. <laughs> 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 I, yeah, let's not. I mean, I think hookers and blow kind of went away pretty quick, yeah. didn't it? Pretty, pretty quick. Yeah. You know, something about something a few hogs in a hole. And yeah. It got a little aggressive. It I'm got, not going to lie. It got a little weird. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the next one is just a simple tracer-only deathmatch, a good one to kind of test out people's uh, you know, pe people's capabilities on a very technically challenging hero. And I'm excited for that one because that one's also yep. going to be pure chaos. Should be good. Mm -hmm. So right now, Smugs has opened up a massive lead. I, I can't say that I'm necessarily surprised. We didn't really have any strong Widow specialists here. Um, oh. And Smugs is insane. Um, he's the MVP for the reason, you know. Yeah, he's he's good at Overwatch. Yes, he's he's much better than I am. That's for damn sure. Yeah. Uh, a few a few more modes left. Uh, the final and after each of these modes, by the way, minus this one, uh, two people will be eliminated. Uh, so the next one on our list is the Valkyrie fight. Um, which oh, is going to be amazing. Um, That's going to be a good one. Yes, I'm really excited for the Valkyrie fight. It's going to literally be uh, everybody, all the Mercies Valkyrieing at the same time. Uh, I am very excited to broadcast that. That's going to be a ton of fun. Um, uh, the la uh, final four will be then competing in a Hammond race on King's Row again. Uh, so uh, that little ball is going to spin around King's Row in an awfully quick way. Uh, and then the final two get to compete in the match that I think everybody's most excited for. And, and I think you would agree with that. The Torb? The Torb. Oh, a little bit of Torb. Oh, child present. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's going to bed. She's going to bed. Aw. Everybody, everybody, everybody say goodnight to Baby Thug. Good night, um, baby thug. <laughs> um, so, yeah, guys. it's uh, Swags is coming up right now on the victory here. And oh, oh. Oh, we just got taken down by NPC. Never, what? I know. I'm just as shocked as you are. Jeez. That is NPC is a widow main. Oh, what? Greatest anime betrayals of all time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So we're watching Smugs right now get locked into a... Oh, we got two kills away. Nobody's really within range. Smugs is in great lineup uh, to get that head start on King's Row. He just takes out Race. He needs one more. Like he needs the head start, too. I know, right? I mean... You I'm, know, it, coming into this, watch out for Crimson Saber. Looking at this entire mm -hmm. top to bottom, Crimson Saber, Race, FPV are the two support players. Mm -hmm. 
typical support players, they should have the edge coming into it. And there it is. We Smugs have... has the head start, but I'm excited to see it. Yep. Smugs with the head start here. Like I said, nobody gets eliminated in round one. Um, ooh, Kenny Baca with the play of the game. Whoa, and for some reason, it didn't it give an at all or an at everyone in chat. I don't know why it didn't do that, but um, if you want to hit that up, that'd be awesome. Um, but anyways, yeah, Kenny Baca, a nice little pop off there. Uh, but Smugs, oh, there Smugs takes it down. Oh, there it went out. Okay, cool. Uh, Smugs takes it down, guys. Uh, congratulations, Smugs, on that win. You will move. Uh, you will take a head start into the Lucio races, uh, which are going to come up here in just a moment, guys. We're going to take a very, very short break. Uh, be back in just a second.
you take lead on this one. Just we're not talking. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Here we go. We're coming to the Lucio race next. Um, we are going to get started here with two. We got two teams. Um, team one is the blue team. They will be starting off. Oh. Lucio first. Um, we need to get everybody on Lucio. For some reason, Wrecking Ball got picked by somebody, but they're fixing that now. Um, we are starting on. Yeah, Smugs is in the right position. Can you type yes, please? For Smugs. Yes, I can. Mm -hmm. Um. So everybody else will be starting in this blue yellow circle here. While uh, he while O is coming back, I'll show you the route. They have to race their way all the way through this. They have to race all the way to the bus. And then once they get to the bus, they have to go around the bus right here. They can go around the bus any which way and then all the way back to point C. So it's going to be interesting, guys. I look forward to, uh, I guess, what these guys are going to do here because there's a lot of different routes you could take. Uh, so can you type, uh, can you give a ready and then yep. count it down from there? All right, here we go. You ready for it? Smugs get that head start. Two, one, go. Hit, oh. hit go. I can't. It sent too many messages. <laughs> I can't. You'll have to go. Oh, <laughs> so oh God. Go. All right. <laughs> here we go, guys. Coming up at the front here, we have Smugs taking the lead. That advantage helped him out, but Spooderman has take, overtaken him. Ooh. Gecko is right now in third, and behind him is NPC. Behind those two is O and Race FPV right now. Race FPV and O in the transfer spots. Smugs right now looking to be in good shape with Spooderman. Oh, yeah, Gecko, Spooderman. NPC. Really o is making a pass on NPC, though. That's a big play there. NPC missed his wall ride. That's hurting him badly. Race FPV is picking up the lag. He's, he's coming in actually he's coming a lot in of speed. really hot right now. Smugs. He should be overtaking NPC soon. Oh, and Gecko right now might be falling into transfer. No, Gecko does not. It looks like Race FPV and uh, NPC. NPC were the ones in the transfer spots here. So Race and, uh, and NPC to last chance race. You'll have to hit mm -hmm. go because I can do three, two, one, mm -hmm. and then it's like, nope, number of messages is limited. Right. So blue team got to kill themselves. And red team to point C. Easy ski with the kill yourself. That's harsh, man. That's really <laughs> harsh. I'm curious what O found for a loophole here, guys. We'll find it out. <laughs> red team's coming down. Oh, he'll show later. He went in the room. Maybe he's sandbagging. He's pulling a gravity and just yeah, sandbagging. He's pulling a gravity. <laughs> All right, so picking up the rear. So race FPV and N or and NPC will go to the last chance race here. We'll see what happens. Right now, we are waiting for the last red team person. Uh, who's missing here? Somebody is still God coming speed. back from spawn. Godspeed. Godspeed. All right, everybody, ping at Godspeed in Discord. Um, please, everybody. All at once. All at once, please. Because um, that is a shame. You hate to see it, guys. You hate to see it. Um, all right. So everybody is in position now. And I'll type ready. And then go ahead and count it down. I will type. I'll give the three, two, one. Yep. You'll have to go. Yep. And they're There's off. There's the go. And they're off. See who takes this one. Riley Bad gets an early lead coming up with Hooks R Us taking up behind him. Kitty Baca actually overtakes Hooks for seconds. Godspeed, uh, Solitary Bird, and Crimson Saber coming, taking up the rear right now. Uh, looks like a kind of a scuffed, very difficult camera shot here. Not going to lie, folks. Uh, we're going to watch them coming around the bus. We see Riley Bad has opened up a pretty large lead actually right now. Godspeed, Godspeed coming up. Godspeed kick up a lot of speed there. He sure did. Got a huge rush there off, off that point. See Crimson Saber looking in good spot. Kitty Baca also looking in good spot here. It looks like Hooks R Us and Solitary Bird right now are in the final transfer spots here. They're way behind. So it looks like Hooks and Solitary are going to be taking up the rear here. So Hooks and Solitary stay. Others die. NPC and Race join at Circle. All right. All right, so remind for everyone, bottom two, exit the 
tournaments. All right. Really strong showing by Riley Bad there. Yep, he honestly shined a lot there. Yes, he did. That flexibility that Sugar Rush shows really helps him out. He's playing everything. Apparently, I needed to spell this out a little slower for some people. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we'll be counting it down here. I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one. Go! Here we go. Solitary Bird right now has a little bit of an advantage. He opened up a good one there. Hooks actually has overtaken him for first. I got a one. I, I don't know. I think Hooks is my favorite here, I would have to say. Oh, Race did find a loophole. Oh, Look that's not him. a loophole. That's that, just smart, is what that is. That's a sneaky bastard. That is a smart play by Race there, oh, finding the man. inside of the building there. Give him credit for finding a good route. You got to wonder if maybe some preparation to help them out there or not. Uh, right now, Hooks R Us is in a good spot here. It's really a race for third or for third place and second place. Hooks R Us is in line with NPC. We'll be following this one closely. NPC and Hooks basically coming down to the end. Looks like Solitary Bird, unfortunately, is going to be taking the final spot here. But Hooks and NPC going down to the wire here. NPC needs a big rush here off these final jumps. I don't know if he's going to get it. Hey. No! Hooks R Us takes it. We have NPC and Solitary Bird. That's NPC from Gravity and Solitary Bird from the Fighting Potatoes. Unfortunately, we'll be exiting the competition today. Uh, so thank you to those guys. Uh, can we get some Bible thumps and hearts in the chat for those guys uh, for coming out today? Um, but Hooks and Race are good. And we will be coming back in just a moment here, guys, with our next round. That is the hooks, uh, hog hooking, three hooks, one cup. We'll talk Six more hogs, about we'll, twelve we'll, holes. I don't yeah, know. we'll we'll talk more about the title later. Just stay tuned, guys. <laughs>
and welcome back folks we are now to the hog hooking uh round here this is going to be a lot of fun folks again for those of you who hadn't seen it yet this is literally road hogs only on elios well thug are you ready for the chaos oh my gosh i don't even know how we're gonna cast this uh poorly it's gonna be insane poorly really poorly really poorly <laughs> uh i'm not gonna lie so here are your 10 contestants, folks. Here we go. Oh, We're going to start the game uh, mode now. Uh, Counting it down. Five. Uh, the point of this is everybody has to race two, to the hook. One. So everybody has to race to the center, and this is the only oh way they gosh. can get kills. It's hooks only, folks. Oh, Crimson Saber, Crimson the first Sa blood. Mm -hmm. this, <laughs> this is <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> it just, uh, we see some stolen kills there for people. Yes, oh. you can steal people's kills that's, as they get thrown into the, uh, the pit. That's honest. Spooderman gets passed around there. Like he's never mind. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> here we go, folks. This is going to be intense. Uh, and right now, it's basically just going to be watching that kill. And again, the bottom two are eliminated here. So let's see who stays and who goes. A lot of jockeying for position right now. <laughs> and Hooks R Us. A lot of kill steeing. Hooks R Us fitting the name. He is taking the, taking a quick lead here. You know, if he doesn't win this thing, we're going to have a conversation. Him exactly. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> I, I guarantee Spooderman has stolen every single one of his kills. Oh, I guarantee it. Smugs right now has the lead in the transfer spots. We have God's, or I'm sorry, we have Race FPV and Crimson Saber. Uh... <laughs> Crimson. Oh! Oh no! Smugs with the with the kill on Crimson Saber, pulling him into the well as he was going down. This right now is pretty intense. Everybody's playing so cautious, oh. but people are going to get more aggressive as time runs out. Smugs has opened up a little bit of a lead here. Um, we see race and hooks R us gets a kill. Oh, but it's stolen! It's stolen! Oh, Kitty! <laughs> oh no, Spooderman stole the kill on Kitty Baka. And people keep coming in here from the edges. Right now, the rules are again, guys. You need to stay on that grassy area as much as possible. We see some people kind of pe peeking back a little bit. I'm gonna repeat to stay on the grass. It's the opposite yep. of the old man complex, guys. Ooh. Um. Ooh, the race. stolen kills is what's going to get these people. Mm -hmm. I and think. race have killed himself. Yeah, that's not what you like to see there. No, you hate to see it. No. You really do. Yeah, you do. We have again a few people have opened up a little bit of a gap. The bottom four are just right next to each other here. It's real, real tight. We're going to have to go down to score on it with the assists. The assists are funny because that means how many kills you've had stolen from you. Mm -hmm. Basically, yeah. And if you yeah. look at Godspeed, Godspeed has been robbed all game long. He has been. Smugs is kind of playing a smart strategy. I'm watching him basically swiping kills from people, and that is that is a wise strategy. You get um, the stationary target. You can get the kills. It's almost a guaranteed kill unless it gets stolen again. Absolutely. We're down to the halfway point here. Two minutes and 30 seconds left. Smugs has opened up. Oh, Smugs' gap is gone now. Kitty Baca has taken the lead. Kitty Baca. Coming up big there. The right now, Riley Bad and Crimson Saber are in the final two spots. But, again, that can change at a moment's notice here. Uh, we actually see Riley Bad get a big kill there that he desperately needed. Oh, God, needed. Smugs is getting abused. In the, he got about four hooks at one time. You hate to see that. Oof. You oh, hate to see that. Crimson gets passed around a lot there after getting a kill onto Smugs. This is intense. Ooh. I'm not going to lie. Oh. Kitty Baka was stolen three times before her death there. To kind of like show that. you what it's like in this game mode, I'm going to show some different uh, first-person views here so you can kind of see the chaos firsthand, folks, because this is insane. Oh, we're following Spooderman into the hole. There he goes. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Spooderman. You hate to put yourself in those positions where you're going for the kill, trying to, to get it. Godspeed with a great kill actually pulling next to him. He's realizing that might be the game for him. Mm -hmm. Spooder he's not going across the well anymore. He's going people next to him. That might be the play. It's interesting what people it's, people are kind of doing different strategies. Some people are basically just going for the stolen kills. And then some people are kind of playing a lot more aggressive. Oh, we see. Oh, gets saved, but then he kills himself. Oh, that's no. painful. Oh, he backed off the edge after he got saved. Oh, Riley Bad got passed around there. You know, we're looking at Riley Bad and Crimson Saber. They're, they're, it's a, their lead is, is, I mean, they're, they're not lead, the opposite of lead. Their deficit is looking pretty substantial with <laughs> with only about a minute left to play. They're at four. They have at least four to get to, and their assists aren't looking there. Riley mm -hmm. Bad or Crimson Saber is really going to have to take off here at the exactly. end. Exactly. Riley Bad and Crimson Saber are in bad shape. We need Crimson and Riley to both step up in a big way here. Smugs goes down. Uh, on that one there. My goodness. Kitty Baca is right now putting on a, a, quite a show with Spooderman as well. Uh, that practice that Kitty put into this has paid off. 
I guess so. I mean, we did have a warm-up uh, session on this one on Friday, and I think she was part of that, so I think that helped her a lot. You watch Crimson Saber there. He actually got you a really... That. Really, out, out when O was going down, mm -hmm. it's really that smart. He's only two back now of of Crimson Sa or of Race FPV. He's certainly not out of the picture yet. And Riley Bad's actually at six now. Cer again, also not out of the picture. We're following Riley Bad here. We'll see if he makes a comeback. I, I just don't know if he can. We got ten seconds left. It's gonna have to be balls to the wall. Crimson mm -hmm. Saber with one away from Race FPV. If he can get two. Two here will put him in the contention to stay going into our next uh, Mercy dogfighting here. Oh, it is tied. It's tied. We have a tie. We, have a tie. However, we'll we don't go to the assists. Nope, no, no. Tied. If they are tied, they move into the next round together. We're not going to go by Ooh, assists. Yes, we that's made. That's beautiful. Yes, we made that rule. So one person will go home this round. And unfortunately, that is Riley Bad from Sugar Rush. Uh, Unlucky. You hate to see that. So good, good, good game to Riley Bad. Um, obviously, put on a really good show in the races, but unfortunately, just could not pull out the hog hooking. Um, but Spooderman and Kitty Baca in the one uh, tied for first there. Good job Very to job. Uh, good job to both of them. Uh, we're going to be taking a quick break here, guys. We'll be back in just a moment with the next round. Welcome back, folks. Here we are at the uh, Tracer-only deathmatch. We have uh, the next round here. We have nine players in this one, which means we will have three advancing to the next round. Um, so this one is much more about technical skill. Would you agree with that? I 100% agree. I look for Smugs to really shine in this one. Mm -hmm. Now, I obviously don't see Smugs play a lot of Tracer, but at the same time, I, I don't expect him to be bad. <laughs> right? It's you know? one of those things he's just going to be good at. I'm actually looking forward to seeing Oh who's probably got the least amount of uh, screen time, if you will, mm -hmm. of all the players in this, just due to Wrecking, his late addition to Wrecking Crew. Yep. So I'm kind of excited to see what he does and uh, kind of make a name for himself coming into Season 3. Yeah, absolutely. Um, following the score car scoreboard right now, again, on this one, since we have nine players in, guys, the bottom three uh, will be eliminated in this one. So we'll be watching that top six to bottom three. Um, very closely here. Spooderman actually has opened up a little bit of a lead. Spooderman! Spooderman! Who are us killed himself. Oh, that, that's actually... As is usual in deathmatch, guys, you don't want to kill yourself. That's a bad thing. 
So who, who? I mean, I think Smugs is probably my favorite too when I look at it. But I feel like I've said that a lot, so I'm gonna go on a limb here um, and pick late since I'm actually able to watch the score hard now and see how people are doing. And I'm gonna go Spooderman. Um, okay. I'm gonna pick Spooderman on this one. So, you know, I, I'm saying I like Smugs just because he he's not gonna get eliminated here. But I'm looking to see O kind of take off and really. He seems to be warming up now, and he is mm -hmm. battling with with Smugs and Spooderman for that top spot. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, top top three are tied for the lead. And again, we're watching that transfer spot very closely right now. Hooks, Crimson, and Kitty Baca are in the very bottom right now. So it is a race to see who qualifies uh, for the next round here. Bottom third are going home. So um, you know, and I look at Kitty Baca with her zero wins, like a true Outlaws fan. Mm -hmm. she, even Outlaws fans don't have a good trace. Look, apparently. look, she's zero and seven. Just like Outlaws. Uh, 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 Ripper Rooney. I know. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. No, <laughs> not, right. not to poke fun at Kitty, obviously. But you know, I know Tracer isn't exactly important. She's an off tank. I mean, I'm a tank main. I would probably be at zero kills myself in this. Me too. So, absolutely. I would probably be minus one because I'd kill myself. Yeah, you would have found a way. <laughs> I would have found a way. <laughs> Even a map where I can't kill myself, I would have found a way to kill myself with Tracer. So right now, we're, again, we're watching that transfer spot close. It appears Smug, Spooderman, and Ooh are getting a little bit of distance right now in that transfer slot. Race has pulled out of it, or Hooks has pulled out of it, but now it's, it seems Crimson and Kitty are in the bottom, and Kitty's having trouble getting any traction here, but that there's a three-way tie for seventh right now. That's going to be interesting here, folks. So we'll That's be, really, it's the middle ground we're looking at. Mm -hmm. So we'll be watching this one close here, guys, to see what exactly happens. Um... Watching ooh right now or o o oh question mark. I don't see a question mark. It might not be o. No, I, I don't know. Oh, oh race when you oh. have this, you can't, you can't kill yourself. That's gonna hurt race's chances badly. Kitty Baca's getting on a little bit of a streak though. Suddenly there now up to goes. four, she's got a little bit around a little bit of ways to go to get there. But you never know. It could certainly happen. Uh, looking at the scoreboard here, guys, Spooderman has opened up a nice lead, actually. Again, yes, he has. I, I don't know Spooderman as much of a Tracer player, but apparently I've been wrong this whole time. Apparently. Um, he's, he's, I thought he was a support player. Stuck in Brig Jail. <laughs> Stuck in Brig Jail, or also playing occasionally Farah. Um, <laughs> Brig Jail or Farah, one of the Pretty two. much. Um, there is an absolute melee in the center by the statue right now. Exactly. The courtyard is full. Full of Tracers right now. This is... Now, correct is, is this going to be the same location for Torb 1v1s in the center? That's correct. It'll also be the same location for the Mercy Valkyrie fight, which is our next oh, round here. Yes. So we'll be seeing a lot of Castillo the remainder of the night here, guys. Uh, but, yeah, this is uh, a lot going on here. Looking at the scorecard, again, race is in that transfer spot, the seventh spot. Gecko right now holding strong in sixth. Really, anybody in the bottom f bottom six, though, they're all kind of vulnerable. Godspeed has opened up a little bit of a gap from Gecko and Race, so currently Godspeed looks to be in good shape. Uh, Hooks are us right now in fifth. God Gecko gets a big kill there to stay in sixth, but uh, it, really that transfer spot is big right now, guys. There's a minute and 40 seconds left. Anything can happen. And if you notice, Kitty Baca is actually starting to close the gap a little bit. She is surging. I'll give her that. She's absolutely – she's warming up. Mm -hmm. She was 0-10. She is now 9-16, and 16, so she's made a, a big climb in a very short period of time here. One thing I'll note is I haven't seen a whole lot of pulse bombing. I don't know if people are just holding on to them or just hasn't been – haven't been any successful it's hits It's really, here. really low. Maybe they're just not hitting them. It's a melee kill. Hooks at rest gets a melee kill there. You yeah, always yeah. love to see those. Those are always pretty fun. Mm-hmm. Right now, Kitty Baca is actually closing the gap. Kitty Baca with an amazing comeback here, guys. She is right on the doorstep. Oh, my gosh. She may overtake Gecko here. That would be a monumental comeback. Seriously, Gecko right now is Kitty Baca, tough... there she is. She comes over with 16 kills over Gecko's 14. With Goodness. 44 seconds to go. That is clutch. That is impressive. Seriously, again, went from 0 and 10 to 16 and 19. That is a huge comeback. Uh, with 30 seconds left, Gecko and Race have to get something going right now, or they're going to be in big trouble. Gecko or or Race could really come up, could really take off, and and if they can capitalize on a few kills, get the final blows on there, they could overtake Kitty Baka or Godspeed. They're both right mm -hmm. on that cusp, and in true Overwatch tranquility community fashion, the race to the end is always nip. It. It's just nip and tuck here. We're right mm -hmm. down to the wire. We're right down to the wire here, folks. Again, we're watching that transfer spot very closely here. With 10 seconds left, Gecko needs two big kills. He got one. He's currently tied for that spot. It's right down to the wire here, folks. Oh, my God. Kitty oh, Baca Kitty gets Baca a big kill. 17. Gecko gets a kill, though. Oh! It's a tie. What a finish. It's what a, a finish. tie. It is a tie. Hooks are Russ with the win, too. 
Hooks with a big win, but we do have a tie, so we will have seven people moving to the next round, folks. Uh, so, uh, unfortunately, Race and Crimson will be leaving us after this one. Um, but uh, Kitty Baka with a massive comeback there uh, to get, move up into the transfer spots there. Um, yeah, goodness, that is insane. Uh, absolutely clutched it out. So we will be uh, taking a quick break here, guys. We'll be back with the Valkyrie fight in just a moment. And welcome guys, here we are. We are at the Mercy Dogfighting. We haven't started the match. I'm just letting the players kind of see the mechanics really quick. Guys, I hope you're ready to hear a lot of German because you're going to hear a lot of it. Um, a whole hell of a lot of German. A lot of German. Um, <laughs> anyways, we're going to get this mode going right now, guys. Here we go. Good luck, good luck all. Have fun. Again, bottom... Three will go home here as there was a tie in the last round. So we have seven players with final four moving to our last round or our next round, which is the tour or the Hammond race. And again, guys, as a reminder, after this, 
Fug and I will be having a little bit of fun. We're going to have to restart the stream for it, but we will be doing our all-star draft. So be ready for the all-star team off. draft. Bunch of angry German ladies. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Well, Swiss technically, but, you know, they speak German. There's no Swiss language. So is there a Swiss, a Swiss dialect? I don't know. I don't actually know. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I really Can don't. Can we get a fact check in the chat, yeah, please? We fact need a, check in the chat. Somebody please fact check our language knowledge. Where's Tim to tell us we're wrong? Exactly. I need... Where's Tim Ojo? Ho, ho, Joe. Ho, Mojo. Um. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. So we're going to try to follow along as best we can here, but it's going to be a little bit chaotic here. Uh, health regen is on, but much lower than normal here, and it's basically just a dogfight. Uh, right now we see Gecko has opened up a little bit of a gap uh, from the uh, transfer spots here. Right now, Spooderman and oops, Spooderman right now falls to the transfer that last transfer spot. Um, Switzerland speaks no, French, German. She speaks the German. German. Yeah, she speaks German, but apparently Switzerland they speak French and German. Oh, weird. I, I mean, again, I don't know these things. I'm not a I'm not a language smarter. Nope, nope. I don't make good smarts with the English words. I'm a typical ignorant American. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is about five minutes here, guys. Is how long this will go, or 50 kills? I doubt we'll see 50 kills, but I guess in theory it could. You happen. never know. Someone could pop off, brother. <laughs> Spooderman taking the high ground here. I, I mean, they're really all taking the high ground. I mean, but like, some of them are flying super, super high up, hitting that mm -hmm. box. It's kind of funny. This, kill themselves. this is mildly chaotic here. Um, we have people actually linking Swiss German in the chat, which I appreciate. <laughs> uh, good, re good bathroom reading for anybody uh, who's interested. Yeah, anyway. so. um, right now, uh, O is in the lead here, putting on a really good showing again. Uh, not somebody we've talked about a lot this season, but uh, oh. nice to see them showing up here. Kitty Baca is in first, uh, kind of carrying that momentum from that Tracer match. We look at being the transfer spot. Spooderman at eight, Godspeed at six. Hooks or Us has a like a really, really big hole to climb out of here. Mm -hmm. he's, he's but like last time, he can go on a run. Exactly. If Kitty Baca can show us, you can you can go from 0 and 7 to, to taking it, what, 17 kills? Kitty is on an absolute massive run right now. We see Hooks are Us in the bottom. Uh, Gecko and Godspeed are also in the transfer spots as well here. Really, anything can happen, folks. Uh, we are certainly not done. Spooderman was so close to killing himself. Mm -hmm. His Valkyrie wore off, and he was just floating in this angelic descent. He almost got caught on the cannon and dropped. Gecko picks up a nice little double kill there. Actually, that was just single. He had one stolen there. He's keeping a lot of distance. That's really risky. Honestly, I feel like you need to kind of close in on people to try to secure those kills, and it didn't work out for Gecko there. Hooks are us. We're trying to trying to get back in there. Gets a kill onto Kitty Baka, but unfortunately, just not getting it much momentum here. We're following Kitty again, who's putting a lot of bullets into the air. A lot of lasers, I guess? I don't know. What is it? Lasers? Bullets? Yep. Kind of? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, rounds? Photon? Beams? Yeah. Rounds. I think rounds, rounds. is safe. We'll call it rounds. Rounds is safe. Yeah. Uh, the transfer spot has taken... Ooh, Gecko has got two kills, though. That could be big. Um, right now, it seems to be between Smugs and Gecko for who might be going home here with a minute 30 seconds left. I guess literally anybody can climb up. Hooks RS has closed the gap a little bit here, so he's not out of it either. Blaster beams? I'm hearing blaster beams in the blaster chat. Beams. Okay, okay. Blaster beams I can get down with. I can get down with blaster beams here. If, if chat said it, we're good. We're good. We're, we're, chat, chat's smart. Y'all are smart. Gecko you know has doing. overtaken Smugs for the for the last safe spot there. Smugs is now currently in a transfer position. I think that would definitely be seen as an Ooh. upset here. Um, Absolutely. Mm -hmm, but Smugs Can I has... say that one? Smugs probably heard me. I probably of course. Cast for curse. How dare you say such things? I am so sorry about that. <laughs> uh... Hooks R Us is trying to close that gap, but honestly, with this with one minute left here, I don't know if he can. Godspeed as well is in kind of a tough spot. Tons of assists. They just haven't been able to close out any kills. Well, let's see um, if Gecko can clutch this thing out and and bury Smugs here with another couple kills as we end this thing with 40 seconds exactly. left. Exactly. That would be a huge upset to see the MVP oh, go home. But then again, this I don't know how much of a mercy player Smugs is either, so that, that is a huge deal here to consider. And again, Smugs has opened up a tiny little gap on Gecko yeah. here. Yeah, he's at 20 kills. Spooderman's at 19. Yeah, he got mad. Sorry about <laughs> it. Why did why did you guys do that? Kitty Baka is absolutely doing fantastic here. Oh, but O is popping off Whoa. a little bit right now. Wow. 
And right now, Smugs has opened up a gap. Actually, Spooderman has fallen a little bit, and Gecko is within range, but he needs some. He needs to clutch out here at the end. He got there he one. Is. He killed Spooderman. He got one. He needs one more. Let's see if he can do it again. Does not no, though. He does so not. close. Do not happen. Twice. Not today. Not today, folks. So Ge uh, Gecko hooks are us, and Godspeed will be uh, saying goodbye. We'll be following uh, O, Kitty Baka, Smugs, and Spooderman to the Hammond races. Uh, thank you to Gecko from Meta Rejects, Hooks R Us from the Omni Turtles, and Godspeed OP from that stupid dumb team who beat us last week. Um, <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> I don't. I don't want to talk about it anymore, Thug. Wait, we won't talk about. It. We don't uh, have to talk about. It. That's next exactly. week. We'll talk about it next week when I'm not here, and you can exactly. talk all sorts of shit. I can talk all sorts of shit on the podcast next week. Yes, uh, okay. So we'll be right back here, guys. Just hang on. Hammond Race is coming around the corner. <laughs> We're off to King's Row again, guys. Here we are with the Wrecking Ball races. We're down to our final four. There will be two heats. The first heat, the winner will advance. The bottom three will then race one more time where the winner will advance again. Showing up, we, can you give a ready? Uh, yeah. We have Kitty Baka from Meteors. We have O from Wrecking Crew. We have Smugs from Otaku. And we have Spooderman from Solo Cup. Two teams that are still in it, two teams that are not. We'll see who pulls this out here, guys. It will be big. So teams are lining up, players are lining up right now. You gave it ready already? I, I gave it ready. Okay. Are you ready? Go ahead and count it down. I'll play the go. And oh, they're off. Man. Spooderman almost had his false start and get started over. He almost did, but right now it's kind of watching to see who gets the advantage early here. We're racing Kitty through Baca. the streets. Kitty Baca again. Spooderman, though, takes a little bit. Oh, Kitty Baca goes up and over. That oh, could be a big move. Oh, very clever. But, but she lost her hook cooldown. That was tough. Spooderman gets a nice move around there, and Smugs actually overtakes it for the lead. 
Spooderman now, where it's going to be kind of coming down to who manages that hook cooldown the best. Is anybody going to go for the risky play going up and under? No. Smugs is the winner on this one, though. Dominating win, nice actually. Smugs. So Spooderman in second, Kitty Baka third, and O in fourth. So we will be resetting here. Smugs wins, advances. No race, Smugs. All others get ready. All right, now that you all heard my thoughts there as we got going. <laughs> uh, so Smugs. Uh, go hide. Go die or hide or <laughs> Yeah. You're just going to hang out right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just be out of the way. <laughs> uh, no, Bye. Uh, all right. Sorry. Good try, Smugs. We love you. We missed you. <laughs> 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 all right. <laughs> Get him ready. All right, here we go. All right. Three, two, one, and, and they're off. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm too slow. I know, I'm too slow as well. The cameraman, they're all pretty close right now. Again, it seems to come down to who just manages that hook cooldown. Honestly, the bus is a pretty crucial one. Ooh, oh, took a hit on the wall. Oh. That could end it right there for him. We'll see if Kitty Baka can close the gap on Spooderman. It's, Spooderman's opened up a pretty huge gap. Ooh, that was a nice hook by Kitty Baka to really close the gap on Spooderman. Is anybody going to go for the gap underneath? Quick. Kitty goes underneath! She oh, can't no! make it! No! <laughs> <laughs> you got to respect the effort, but oh. does not work out. Oh, Kitty Baka went for it and could not make it. But Spooderman advances. We'll go to the finals up against Smugs in the Torb 1v1. Uh, thanks for participating, both O and Kitty Baka. Uh, it was fun having you here. Uh, but we will move to the finals. Spooderman oh, from go. Solo Cup versus Smugs from Otaku. We'll be back in just a moment, guys.
here we are, the final matchup. Smugs from Otaku, Spooderman from Solo Cup. What's your pick, Thug? You know, I saw just a little preview of this. I am going to go Smugs because I like his skin better. Ooh, true, true. Uh, I'm going to go Spooderman just to be different and contrarian. I mean, why not? Yeah, works for me. All right, it's the first to three here, guys. Let the battle commence. We have Smugs and Spooderman. Here we go. The combatants enter the field. Smugs drops his spray in the wind. Bold move. Let's see if it pays off. <laughs> now, a reminder, the overload cooldown is on. Spooderman pops his first. Smugs. Oh, the early kill. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, he's sending a message at the end there. Definitely. Wow. Sending a message. Here we go. The funny thing is, looking at those two two uh, victory poses, I feel like that's their um, that's their actual personas too. Yeah, I would agree with that. Smug seems like a tough son of a bitch, and Spooderman <laughs> just seems like he likes to drink some. Right now, this one's close. Spooderman, oh, ooh, there we got a match, boys and girls. Oh, yeah, we do. Let's go. Oh man, the tension. The tension is palpable. You could cut it. You could cut it with a knife. Let's see if they change. Okay, they're gonna go with the same spot. Spooderman's taken. I feel like this is the same thing over and over. Spooderman's playing a little bit of a kiting game. Well, I mean, for what it's worth, it, it kind of. It, I mean, it is Torb Hammer's one v one. Oh, the last hit! Oh, that was a close one. That was a lot closer than mm -hmm. it should have been. Smugs down to match point. Smugs looking to take down the entire skills competition. The MVP taking down the skills competition might not be a shock to a lot of people. We'll see if Spooderman can pull it off, though. Following Spooderman close here. He charges the overload right away. That's Smugs pops his second. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Here we go, baby. Match point. One point to win it all. All right, let's see if anyone makes a hero play. I want to mm -hmm. see someone jump over the statue platform. That'd Get be, aggressive. That would be bold. Let's see if Get anybody aggressive. goes for it. Spooderman heads to the statue. He doesn't. Oh, Spooderman, get the aggression going. Smugs took put a couple hits on his Spooderman, though. That could be it right there. There's, there it is. There's the W for our boy Smugs. Smugs, us, aka Team Two on the screen, but Smugs <laughs> takes it down. Congratulations, Smugs. You won the Season 2 Skills Challenge. This kid's cleaning up. God, was MVP a... and Skills Challenge win? That is oh insane. I, I would say probably the Skills Champion is probably a little closer to his heart. Mm -hmm. It's like a People's Choice Award. Yep, yep. You mean the MVP? No. No, the Skills. Oh, the uh, Skills. Oh, it is This the is the People's Choice the Award end. because we actually, this actually shows people who the real MVP is. <laughs> All right. Uh,. Congratulations again goes to Smugs and Spooderman, honestly. Spooderman, really good performance by you as well. Um, for those of you who are in chat here, guys, stay tuned. Uh, we're going to actually be dropping the stream and then restarting because i got to change my video settings for the All-Star Draft, uh, which will be just around the corner. We'll be back up and running here in about five minutes, folks, so please stay tuned. Uh, we'll be back with some more Tranquility Community action. Sure. That sure. sounds right. We'll call it that. We'll call it action. action. Be back in just a few minutes, guys.